today we are reacting to another yeah a number another r w b y ruby this is volume four chapter four family i have also again skipped the intro so sorry i also really like it so i could understand if you guys get upset and I'm going to take these off because I, again, I don't need these. I don't know why I wear them all the time. Well, I need them just not to watch the video. So without further ado, let's begin the video at three, two, one, go. <sighs> okay, seriously, who is this guy? That is a mirror. Hello, I'm Professor Osmond. What the fuck? <laughs> Osmond? What the fuck? Oscar, you be careful with those tools. Yang? Both arms. Oh, PTSD dream. Also, PTSD, post traumatic stress. feel so bad for Yang. PTSD sucks. <laughs> so, Ty, I hear. Hey! Wearing yeah. a skirt! Uh, I was just a TA. I, I didn't know what to do, so I just, I just left the room to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we told him it was a kilt. He'd never worn a uniform before, so he didn't know. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. But he's proud of you. Hey, the girls all said he had nice legs. I did that jerk a favor. Oh. Besides, that's not even the best part. See, we... Like what you see? <laughs> 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 oh, Yay! Yang's actually laughing! Join us. Just more than what we've seen from her in the past couple episodes. <laughs> I'm good. So, what are you doing here? Despite popular belief, teachers do have a life outside the classroom. Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. But Mistral wasn't built in a day. And we all need some rest from time to time. Yeah, look, let's not worry about that right now. So, there we were, standing in the auditorium, looking at Crow wearing a skirt. Then Oz tells everyone, it's time to work on our landing strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the Broadway twins have always been interesting, to say the least. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey. Come on, man. She's right here. Oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. That's not the issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. Ooh. I think I've been through enough to be considered an adult at this point. 
I mean, when you have PTSD and only one limb, well, and are missing one limb, oh I think gosh, you're an adult. Does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? Yeah, but we only use them when we mean it. Is that so? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, huh, well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. Oh. Oh. Jerk! <laughs> Are we finally talking about the Goliath in the room? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, oh, it's show. okay to joke about then. Yang. Okay. <laughs> you don't mind me asking, why haven't you tried on the arm yet? Oh, yes, yes. A piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. I'm... scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal, and I appreciate it, but this is normal now. It's just taking me a while to get used to it. Well, at least she can move it. That's good. Normal is what you make of it. And I know there's still muscle in it, but... What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone, and it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. You're Yang Xiao Long, my sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. Uh, I... Uh... Fear is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle it. Why, even I find myself wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Really? You? He's afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine! <laughs> and Seriously. don't even get me started on their tails! So hairless... Seriously, so what is with the big strong men being scared of the stupidest things? Good night. Like water and mice, are you kidding me? <laughs> Also, it's very nice to see them again. Anytime. You're always welcome. It may be a while before we return. There is still much work to be done at the school. I hesitate to ask, but is there any word from young Miss Rose? Not yet. Have you thought about going after her? Trying to bring her home? <sighs> I've got to look after some things. And now she's gonna feel guilty on, for guys. If we pick up the pace, keeping we her dad the there instead of sunset. finding Ruby. Assuming it's still there. Of course, I mean it'll I be would. There. This one's supposed to be pretty big. He can bana. He gone bana. It's a well protected village with a popular inn. Which means no camping Egan in the rain. Bana. See, with a popular it in all. You know, in all of the of world of remnants we've seen so far, they've had the village with really the inn. See more grim, as did I. I guess our luck is finally turning around. To Don't Higanbana. say that. Higanbana. Higanbana. Oh god! Hey, it's Crow. He's been keeping. Grim away.
Crow has been watching them. Oh, I didn't. Uh... From the woman upstairs. Red eyes. Said you wouldn't mind oh. bottom shelf. Thanks. But I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. Ooh. <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind like mind seeing. <laughs> also, what's her name? I would like to <gasps> Raven! Raven, yes! Hello, brother. Yes! Raven! Raven. Yes! We have not seen her since volume two and it was like a two second scene. Yes! So, what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can. And I'm the biggest but nerd, not. but who cares? So how about we get on with it? Unless you plan on keeping these coming. Does she have it? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not... Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was yeah. your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he has. Now you tell me... Does Salem have it? I thought you weren't interested in all of that. I just so, want to know what we are up against. Well, if she knows about the falling and stuff. Which we are you referring to? Which we? <sighs> you should come back, Raven. The only way we beat her is by working together. I mean, if All she knows about the downfall and the Ozpin thing, left. she should the know that they have us, the... And you turned your back on them. That they have the Autumn Maiden, meaning it's not the Autumn Maiden that she's worried about. They were thieves. They were your family. You have a very Ooh. skewed perception of that word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. She's the leader of the White Fang. People of Shion saw too. The weak die, the strong live. Those are the rules. Survival of the fittest. Well, you've certainly got someone strong on your side. I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. I'm not talking about the Grim. And I'm not talking about you either. If you don't know where the relic is, then we have nothing left to talk about. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is either. But if you do, I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. <laughs> and which we are you referring to? I like Raven. I really like Raven. This one a double. And not only ah. Break, is he the spring maiden? The guy that we keep seeing, is he the spring maiden? Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> ah! Do not end it them. Ew. Ew. Oh. Oh my God.
just keeps getting better and better. Two things that I that I recognize from that. She is the leader of the White Fang. That either means that a human is running the entire operation, or both both Crow and Raven are both honest. We don't, as far as I can see, we don't see any honest parts on them, as in like horns or wings or whatever. But they could be honest. We just suddenly assume semblance turned into it. We didn't know that. Assumed. But either way, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. And I want episode five. All right, see you next time.